that's part of it, and it's yeah. not as yeah, it's not, not as severe. severe. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm. Yeah, but I asked uh, at the school that I'm at, we have a collider Oh, which school are you at? Westminster. Oh, okay. And um, I asked them, I said, do you guys know how many of our oh, okay. students are, you know, of the 12 through like 14 year old age group? And she said, maybe a quarter of them. Oh, wow. But like, if you look at the zip code it's sitting in, mm -hmm. it's one of the most unvaccinated zip codes in the county. The so, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Everything working? Mm -hmm. So far, so good. And where is Bob? And we have to he's leave the, the show he's down. at UB. Oh, okay. So he's the director of the oral oral so I thought surgery clinic. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Yep. Yeah. In fact, he's on call. He's on call uh, this week. So yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, oh, man. Yeah, so he's going to say... It's complicated. Well, yeah. <laughs> About what? About being a nurse? Being a nurse. Yes. Well, these kids that, like, I've been working with students, taking them out to teach them about hospice, and they're all like, I want to be an MP. I'm like, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I feel like you go home and not have to worry about anything else. Right, right, right. They push the hand. They push being a doctor on that? Really? Is, are they that short? They want to make sure they fill the program. Oh, okay. <clears throat> they got rid of the master's program. You don't need a doctor to be a friend. They got rid of the master's program. You don't need a doctor. Oh. A doctor in what? Oh. Really? So UB has got everything? So wait, so there's an RN, right? RN is a four-year degree. Right. Essentially a doctorate degree now. It used to be a master's degree. Okay. Is it across the board or just a degree? So there's the RN, then the NP, right? Those are the NP. Hey, how are you, John? Okay. And you? Good. No. Nothing. Working like a dog. I like the NP. As you should. That's the life I chose, right? You still every day? Yep. Got our interviews tomorrow for the next group of uh, residents. So it'll be a long day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Separating the wolf from the chair. Well, I'm sure you'll shake them out. Well, we've been doing good. Getting better. Getting better than all the candidates have been this year. The cutoff is CPSC. Way high. We could have said that. That's the exam, and it's like step one of the. So, uh, actually, on the course. one of the assistant principals, I'm with that. I got my uh, certification. Oh, I got three shots. Leadership? Could you bring that? Yeah, but I'm not going to tell you. I am. Because CBSE is a privilege that they do well on that. We know that they do. I still like. I would still like to go back to so Catholic education mm -hmm. and administration, the, yeah, but there just weren't the opportunities. Yeah. So right. the program, you know, we'll six. see. Yeah. Not, not that I hate it where I am. It's just you know, Catholic schools is yeah. kind of like, oh. you know, that's yeah. Uh, yeah I've been in the diocese. I was in the diocese for 11 years. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So yeah, so we'll, we're, hi Jerry, how are you? He's always on the surgery. Yeah, so we'll see, you know, um, West yeah. Coast is in an unusual position right now, but it's easy to switch it down. He and I get along. Buffalo. West Coast and Adam Coast. What? You know, something. Gossip from the university. There's so much of it. Um, but um, I ran in, I they're, in they're chartered in Enterprise Charter School. I chartered through Buffalo. Uh, but, how are you? Oh, we have a I'm 
But either way, it's experience, which is good. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. Well, that's because I'm not the only one who's preaching right now. I try not to live there. I'm a voice crying in the wilderness up there. Be great. See what you're starting now? And I say that with love in my heart. <laughs> See you later, Bob. It's home. Yeah. This is LA. Moral makes a facial surgery. We do everything with the calipons. I have it. When I was in Afghanistan, I used to do brain surgery. Well, somebody had to do it, right? So, all of a sudden, you're looking at somebody's brain, you got to do something. So. <laughs> So it was not like having the basketball team here. It was nice having the team here last week. I think the game Thursday night. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Okay, I think we might be getting ready. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Sarah. <laughs> like, oh my God, Hi, Sarah. We're going to start by singing Rain Down this morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's wonderful to see you all on this bright day. Beautiful, uh, beautiful day. Um, today, there's the, playing the Jacksonville. There's some kind of cat, is it? What is it? Kill the cat. Okay. <laughs> some kind of cat. Jaguars are fast, they say. Wow, isn't that wonderful? Wow. Uh, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God's love be with you all. And with your spirit. We gather together on this beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful August, uh, uh, autumn day. We pray for Donna McBride, for whom we pray, and Robert Gibbons, uh, for whom we offer Mass, Mary Ann's friend. Uh, Mary Ann has offered this Mass, thank you. Uh, also, we pray for uh, Mary, Maureen O'Connell, who is in hospice at home. Uh, we, we pray for Father Roy is in the hospital. Oh. Yeah, Father Roy is in the hospital. Uh, <laughs> well, he's older, you know. <laughs> Three months. <laughs> anyway, uh, so he's uh, he has he has as Dennis the Menace would say he has ammonia. 
So uh, uh, I think I think he. I talked to him yesterday. He said, "I must say he didn't sound good. He sounded worn out. Yeah, he doesn't want any visitors. He's at Kenmar Mercy Hospital. He thinks he might he might be home tomorrow. He thinks. You don't know. He's he's he he uh, hasn't slept in three days. He said, mm. "Poor guy. I feel so sorry for him." Uh, Celibacy has its dark sides, I think. You know, when you live alone, you uh, have certain, certain things that you, you probably, those of you who are fortunate enough to be married to wonderful women, mm -hmm. I'm talking about men especially. <laughs> uh, I don't know about the other side, but uh, I think we'd probably be better off if we were married. So anyway, but... Um, don't report that to the chancery. They have enough <laughs> crap to worry about down there. I don't care if you do at this point. <laughs> so anyway, we pray for all those people. We pray for, for Maureen, such a wonderful, wonderful lady, one of the kindest people I know. And her, her uh, she has only one daughter, so it's a double, double cross and in many ways difficult. So let's take them. Pray for all those other things, other things that we pray for. Almighty and merciful God, graciously uh, keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sorry. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah the prophet went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year and he and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Preserves for 
reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now, once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. Just as it is appointed that human beings die once, and after this the judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury. For they, had, they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. In the temple, there were 13 trumpet-shaped donation chests, each labeled for its different purpose. Jesus, as this is occurring in the middle of Holy Week, when he would be put to death, observes how the crowd put money into them. All money at the time was metal, and the large sums donated by the rich would have clanked loudly as they were thrown into the chests. And the rich, like the Pharisees, would have done this with loud effect to be noticed for their giving. The rich had drawn attention to themselves with their noisy donations. But Jesus draws his disciples' attention to this lowly widow. Widows had no inheritance rights in ancient Israel and usually had to rely on their children, male relatives, or charity for survival. The widow donated two small coins known as mites, translated as a few cents. The fact that the widow gave two coins is important as it suggests that she did not spare even what she could justifiably have kept for herself. Little did the poor widow in this story know as she tries to surreptitiously hide her paltry donation from view, that she would be known for the next 2,000 years as the prime example of giving. In fact, it is from this story that coined, excuse the pun, the phrase, putting in one's two cents. How about that? <laughs> she gives everything, metaphorically, her own life and future. Jesus, as I said previously, is in the middle of Holy Week and will be giving his actual life 
in a few days. Jesus' last message to the public before he dies, once again, tries to turn the long-standing Jewish paradigm of thought on its head. Wealth and status is not a sign from God that you are living your life pleasing to God. It is not the external that God is interested in, but what's in your heart. My friend Carolyn McCain, uh, McLean from the New Newman Center here told me about a family she knew about 20 years ago that moved from Ghana to Buffalo to enable the father of this family to study his PhD at UB. They had no idea how the conversion of money worked between Ghana and the US and quickly realized that the $300 monthly stipend could not possibly support a family of seven. They had university housing that was paid for, but there was no extra money for anything. They watched every dollar they had and every dollar was precious. It was the difference between paying for their electric bill or food. Carolyn recounted to me how the mother would give a single dollar every week in the church basket. She asked her why, and she said, I just have to thank God. She did what she could. She provided her two cents. One Sunday, the basket came around, and she reached into her purse looking for the dollar. She recalled that she had spent it. She would keep a $20 bill tucked away to break and judiciously use when the single dollars were gone. But on this day, she didn't have a dollar. She unzipped the back <coughs> of her purse and without hesitation, pulled out the $20 bill and put it in the basket. This true story has nothing to do with money and nothing to do with giving to the church. It's about the mother and the widow's unhesitating willingness to give it back to God in thanksgiving for his blessing. As the mom said joyfully, I just had to thank God. Thank you very much. Those, all those kids, all those kids uh, got scholarships, I think, and and to Ganesha. Yeah, and a few of them are nurses, I think. I think the father went back to teach and yeah, got. Yeah, I, I think one of the other daughters is a professor at University of Rochester. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> anyway, let us pray. Very, very nice kids. They're very nice, wonderful family. Uh, let us pray for God's holy people, the church, the church, the church, the church needs lots of energy and direction and imagination and you know, insight. So we pray for our bishop and our pope and all the, all the people that need our prayers, leaders of any kind. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray to the Lord for, uh, for generosity. It's a nice story, a nice story of wonderful family. We pray for a sense of generosity and human community, uh, for love for one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Donna and for Robert, for whom we offer Holy Mass today. And we pray for all of the departed, that they may rest in the peace of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for... Uh, the Buffalo Bills today, <laughs> and regrettably the Jacksonville Jackals, or whatever they're called. <laughs> we pray to the Lord. Uh, and uh, I like to pray for, um, for uh, I forgot what I was going to pray for Maureen. For Maureen, yeah, for Maureen and for those recovering. Um, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We have four baptisms this weekend, so uh, Thanksgiving for new life. I, Mike is going to do two today, and I did two yesterday, and it was just, it was just so wonderful. And, and one of the mothers, about a few weeks before the baby was born, stopped for a special prayer, and after mass, and she was had to, she had blood clots, and uh, so they she had, it was on a lot of blood thinners and. Uh, 
she uh, was so nice to see, and I hadn't seen her name since because she, and then yesterday was the bad. The baby came through and a little bit early, but catching up. So we pray in Thanksgiving for good doctors and medicines and scientists and and mothers that have, can grit their teeth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Thanksgiving for this beautiful day and this beautiful season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Anyone else has prayers today? Our dear friend Kathy, who we just lost, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For travelers like Father Pat this week, that he safely traveled back and forth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For Brad, for Brad, who passed away this week, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Special intention, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have no one to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. They have you, Maggie, now. Thank you. That was nice. <laughs> terrific. Thank you. Terrific. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Kathy, you want to pay for her? For Kathy's brother, brother-in-law? Well, I never get it right. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all children, uh, these difficult times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you to hear all our prayers, always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> favor we pray O lord upon the sacrificial gifts offered here that celebrating in mystery the passion of your son we may honor it with loving devotion through christ jesus our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit. lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just truly right and just our duty our salvation always everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, we know that by testing us you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more by your spirit you move human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again, that adversaries join hands and people seek to meet together. By the working of your power it comes about, O oh Lord, that hatred is overcome by love. 
Revenge gives way to forgiveness and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, uh, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty as we acclaim. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all life and all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these, our gifts of bread and wine, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death that he freely accepted, Jesus took bread and praised you, the God of all creation. He broke the bread and gave it to them and said to them, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, broken for you. Do this in memory of me. Supper ended, Jesus took a cup of wine. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to the disciples and said to them, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you count us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you, and may all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ to be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the whole world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Mike Fisher, our Bishop, your clergy, your people. Remember Donna and Robert and all of the departed and all of our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again, bring them and all of the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on all of us. Make us worthy to share life with Mary, the mother of God, the apostles and the martyrs, Saint, our patron, Cardinal Newman, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus, for through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Let us join and pray the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace. Keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety, so that we may discover that we are free to wait in joyful hope. For the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to the apostles, Peace, peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of the kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign and prayer for peace.
Lamb of God. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. for this week. For students, our next Wednesday night dinner is November 10th at 6 p.m. Please join us and bring a friend. For the entire community, Newman Center's Men's Club would like to invite those who wish to attend a Veterans Day dinner honoring Lieutenant Colonel Joshua E. Caven at the Buffalo Launch Club on Tuesday, November 9th, starting at 4.30 p.m. Please see the flyers at the doors of the Newman Center for details and how to make reservations. On Saturday, November 13th, the fifth annual fundraiser and blood drive will be held in honor of Veterans Day and Sean's birthday at the Newman Center from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. See flyers in the lobby for more information. There is a collection bin in the front lobby for long underwear and socks for the homeless. 
We thank you for your assistance with this project. The Pizza Fund collection for the homeless in memory of Debbie Brown is ongoing, and the container is in the front lobby for all those who wish to donate. Communion services are held every Wednesday and Friday with Deacon Mike at noon in the chapel. Please place your prayer intentions in the book outside the chapel, and your prayers will be offered during the communion services. So I want to make a quick comment that uh, this past week, uh, and we had 98 people uh, at, at the uh, thing. Uh, yeah, we had 98, which is fantastic. I guess we started in the 50s, and now we're up to 98 people, 100 people. She told me there wasn't one piece of turkey left, right? <laughs> Not even one. So great job. Great job. I mean, things are really good. Thank you. Man. And, and all the people that helped band, right? Thank you. Best to make, and uh, we didn't put it in the. <laughs> we didn't put it in. I think Joe Joe's afraid to put it in. Um, please, well, we we clean very well here. These are relatively new rugs, the last year or so, uh, and uh, we keep them clean. The students are usually very good uh, on Wednesday nights, as we said. It started out with about thirty-nine, and we had ninety-eight students last. <laughs> last nice. week and, and also wonderful help it's just great the food is great the kids are the kids can't say enough thank you thank you and then almost many of them are athletes so it doesn't get by with just one serving so <laughs> 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 they're hammer throwers and, and weightlifters and football players uh, and we had the vice president the new vice president for student affairs was here as well as the Dean of Students was here as well, and they were just so impressed. I, I, I found out through the grapevine they were so impressed. In fact, one of them has promised to support, oh, to support our Wednesday night dinner. So <laughs> anyway, good. Um, well, anyway, the announcement is be careful on Sundays. Try, try to be careful about food uh, in, during Mass. <laughs> Well, I, 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 I mean, obviously, kids, kids have what do you call them, Cheerios? I think that, I think that uh, General General Mills should make support all the churches in the United States that have babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's always every church that has. Well, they're made in Buffalo. It helps keep our economy going. But there's another thing that's turned up. Uh, there are some things on the floors that that get into the. Um, into the rug and they're very hard for the cleaning staff to get out and there are kinds of things that you should take care of with your podiatrist <laughs> figure it out <laughs> if you have any questions right i don't want to know uh, i just want to read i was going to read a couple of poems last week for the students you know that i only read one i said i had three but this is one that I think is sort of like the, the, the widow's mite. The, I was thinking when I saw the pictures of Colin Powell's funeral yesterday, or the other day in the paper, uh, you know, all these important people in the front, you know, who were the altar boys, you know, and stuff. And uh, this is called, this is a wonderful Ann Porter. It's just such a, she was such a great, a great poet. Her husband, a great artist as well. This is called An Only Son. It's based on a, st a story by Abraham Heschel, the famous, uh, the famous uh, rabbi. It's kind of like the prodigal son, but the, it ends so beautifully. It's called An Only Son. Out of the world of tents and sheep, a legend has come down, the story of a rabbi's only son who, when his childhood ended, left his father. To live like one who's in disinherited, hungry, disheveled, and alone. To work as a day laborer, to wander through the desert or the mountains, where finding others poorer than himself, he'd gather sticks, like the first reading, he'd gather sticks for them and haul their water. He'd play at children's games among their children and sleep outdoors at night. His father said at night, I lie awake grieving about my son who has no flocks or herds or wife or child. And for possessions, only a knife, a blanket, and a cup. But he is single-hearted, and the Lord blesses the single-hearted. He prefers their frailty. He prefers their sins to the good works and virtues of the arrogant. Wow. 
Let us pray. <laughs> Let us, whoa, that's another wow. Two wows. Nourished by the sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by, the, by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, thanks yes. to God. Kill the cat. No, 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 no. The people in darkness have seen a great light. The Lord of our longing has come to the night. Let us fill the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord our light and our God.